Today, July 22, is the Feast of Saint Mary Magdalene. Saint Mary Magdalene is one of the greatest saints of the Bible and a legendary example of God's mercy and grace. The precise dates of her birth and death are unknown. But we do know she was present with Christ during his public ministry, death and resurrection. She is mentioned at least a dozen times in the Gospel. Mary Magdalene has long been regarded as a prostitute or sexually immoral in Western Christianity. But this is not supported in the scriptures. It is believed she was a Jewish woman who lived among Gentiles, living as they did. The Gospels agree that Mary was originally a great sinner. Jesus cast seven demons out of her when he met her. After this, she told several women she associated with and these women also became followers. There is also debate over if Mary Magdalene is the same unnamed woman, a sinner, who weeps and washes Jesus' feet with her hair in the Gospel of John. Scholars are skeptical. This is the same person. Despite the scholarly dispute over her background, what she did in her subsequent life after meeting Jesus it's much more significant. She was certainly a sinner whom Jesus saved, giving us the example of how no person is beyond the saving grace of God. During Jesus' ministry, it is believed that Mary Magdalene followed him, part of a semi-permanent entourage who served Jesus and his disciples. Mary likely watched the crucifixion from a distance along with the other women who followed Christ during his ministry. Mary was present when Christ rose from the dead, visiting his tomb to anoint his body only to find the stone rolled away and Christ very much alive, sitting at the place where they laid him. She was the first witness to his resurrection. After the death of Jesus, a legend states that she remained among the early Christians. After 14 years, she was allegedly put into the boat by the Jews, along with several other saints of the early church, and set adrift without sails or oars. The boat landed in southern France, where she spent the remaining years of her life living in solitude in a cave. St. Mary Magdalene's feast is on July 22. She is the patroness of the converts, repentant sinners, sexual temptation, pharmacists, tanners and women, and many other places and causes. Mary Magdalene, sometimes called Mary of Magdala, or simply the Magdalene, was a woman who, according to the four canonical Gospels, traveled with Jesus as one of his followers and was a witness to his crucifixion and its aftermath. She was mentioned by name twelve times in the canonical Gospels, more than most of the apostles and more than any, any other woman in the Gospels other than Jesus' family. Magdalene may mean that she came from the town of Magdala, a fishing town of the western shore of the Sea of Galilee in Roman Judea. The Gospel of Luke lists Mary Magdalene as one of the women who traveled with Jesus and helped support his ministry out of their resources, indicating that she was probably relatively wealthy. The same passage also states that seven demons had been driven out of her, a statement which is repeated in Mark 16. In all the four canonical Gospels, Mary Magdalene was a witness to the crucifixion of Jesus, and in the Synoptic Gospels, she was also present at his burial. 
all the four Gospels identified her either alone or as a member of a larger group of women, which includes Jesus' mother, as the first to witness the empty tomb and the first to witness Jesus' resurrection. For these reasons, Mary Magdalene is known in some Christian tradition as the Apostle of the Apostles. Mary Magdalene is the central figure in later Gnostic Christian writings, including the Dialogue of the Savior, the Pistis of Sophia, the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of Philip, and the Gospel of Mary. These texts portray Magdalene as an apostle, as Jesus' closest and most beloved disciple, and the only one who truly understood his teachings. The portrayal of Mary Magdalene as the prostitute began after the series of Easter sermons delivered in 591, when Pope Gregory conflated Mary Magdalene, who was introduced in Luke 8 with Mary of Bethany, and the unnamed sinful woman who anointed Jesus' feet in Luke 7. This resulted in the widespread belief that she was a repentant prostitute. Elaborate medieval legends from Western Europe tell exaggerated tales of Mary Magdalene's wealth and beauty, as well as her alleged journey to southern France. The identification of Mary Magdalene with Mary of Bethany and the unnamed sinful woman was a major controversy in the years leading up to the Reformation, and some Protestant leaders rejected it. During the Counter-Reformation, the Church emphasized Mary Magdalene as a symbol of penance. In 1969, the identification of Mary Magdalene with Mary of Bethany and the sinful woman was removed from the general Roman calendar by Pope Paul VI, but a view of her as a former prostitute has persisted in popular culture. <laughs>